So today is 26 December and Jessica most probably gonna give birth another few more days so to help her to prepare for her pregnancy I just have cut out a food container just cut out this part here right so this is for her so that when she give birth she can put the baby inside Okay, so what you can do is uh, you need a bit of cushioning. So the best cushioning you can give is tissue, a lot of tissue. So what you can do is just uh, tear, help. You can help her to tear out the tissue. This is what I do when I when Samantha was pregnant. I help Samantha this way because I noticed Samantha was taking the tissue and tearing so this is what I do to help Samantha last time when she was pregnant so Jessica so I will help her this way because anytime she gonna give birth I have cleaned up this sketch already um, new bedding everything clean up so just to prepare for her uh, when she give birth so that she have a uh, place where a dark and quiet place because for at least 14 to 15 days you can't touch the baby until they open their eye so this is what I do just help just there and just put it inside and she will she will adjust the rest this is what I do also earlier when Samantha was pregnant so once you fill it up already like this uh, you can just leave it like this uh, she will know how to adjust by herself just place it down somewhere and then just put some out and maybe take a, a, a tissue a one or two tissue just cover up just cover up uh, so that make it dark um, so that she will have a privacy when she give birth because they wouldn't like a bright area so um, just to help her out just put something like this and she will know how to adjust by herself the rest right so you can put more tissue if you want uh, but as long it's not uh, try not to touch the water bottle otherwise that will lead into problem because when the tissue or the bedding touch the water bottle and then it start to leak then it might be flood over here so try not to do that try to keep it uh, a bit clean this area right so that um, no water will uh, no any bedding or uh, tissue will touch the water bottle because we don't want any accident to happen and we if we are not at home so that is a problem so I estimate she gonna give birth another few days so this is just to help her out Jessica so once she give birth basically you can't touch her already try not to touch her and the kid until they open the eye so as you can see uh, Jessica she lost some weight but I'm sure she's pregnant and can see the stomach have grown a little bit but her due date I guess maybe should be somewhere end of the month so 
this is just to get ready so could be any day soon could be a bit early or could be on time so better to prepare early right so try not to disturb her when if she have give birth as long as you have enough food you don't have to worry just put enough food and enough water and if can if you have a flying saucer or a roller just remove it so that she will have enough rest and she will take care of her uh, young one because last time we we samantha time i removed the roller also and and when i set up a video cam and i noticed that she is very tired she what she do is she will come out and sleep somewhere around and then when the her baby wake up and hungry she'll go back in later to feed them and then later she will come out back to just to sleep so this is one thing you can do for your hamster if your hamster is pregnant and going to give birth so this is just a preparation you can put a little bit more of um, tissue you tear and put here and she will know how to adjust herself she will if she need more bedding she will take some tissue and put it in so just let her settle down uh, she will know how to adjust by herself